Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through how you can hide pages from Google on your site. Now, you may be asking, why would I want to do this? Well, there are a few reasons. Maybe it's your privacy policy or your cookie policy. Those pages, you don't really need to get indexed by Google. Next, it could be something like a thank you page. Let's say, for example, you have a form on your site. Once it's filled out, it sends that person to the thank you page. Well, the only people who should ever really end up on that thank you page are people who fill out the form or fill out a newsletter and end up on that page. No one else should really end up there. So you don't want that page to get indexed by Google. Finally, there's this example. Maybe you have a page you're working on or a page that you have for a specific reason, but it's not necessarily open to the public. For example, a landing page. Maybe the landing page is for your marketing, but you don't really want it to show up on Google. So you could hide that page from Google results. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's honestly two clicks. It's really simple. Let's get into it. So you could see here on my screen, I am on my demo website. First thing I'm gonna do is click on pages. And then from there, I'm gonna find the page I want to hide. As you can see here, there are a few pages that are duplicates and copies, and I don't really want Google to pick those up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little settings wheel. And once I do that, I will go to SEO. And then in here, you'll see hide page from search results. Boom, done, click save, we're good to go. So it's actually three clicks, but that's all you need. So just like that, I've hit it from Google. Then I would do that for additional pages that I wanna hide. So I go to the SEO tab again, click hide, go from there. Now, one thing to consider, there's almost two layers of this, just for you if you're developing sites or you're developing content for a client and they have a lot of traffic to their site, you don't want content that's not ready to go public. Here's my pro tip. So here, what you can do is say, for example, this is gonna be the new homepage uh, and it's something you're working on, you're going back and forth with the client or you're going back and forth with your team, whatever that might be. Well, you could click the settings wheel and Obviously you could hide it from SEO, but you can also hide it from the general public so that only people who have login access can see it. So the way we do that is by disabling the page. Here, when I hit disable, you still have the page, you still have the content, but it is not visible to anyone except people who have access to the back end of Squarespace. So when I hit save, you'll see the page goes gray. It's still here, still exists, hasn't gone anywhere, but there is no way someone will access that URL. And now I'm getting into the weeds. So if you got your answer, you're good to go. But the weeds and the little details here, let's say for example, this URL, let's take a look. This is home, I'm gonna click the gear wheel. And this page, this URL slug is home Brian. So if I go to SEO and I hide it from SEO, well, Google won't pick it up. But for example, if someone happened to know that URL, no one will, but if they happen to know that URL, well, they can still access the page. So if you want it to be disabled so no one can access the page, you need to make sure you click the disable button. So there's two layers here, two layers you can work with. There's actually a third with a password as well that you can look at, but we don't need to get into that for this video. So if you need to hide a page from Google, you can just click in here, uh, go to the settings wheel and go to SEO, hide it from there and you're good to go. And then when you're ready to go live, all you do is uncheck it, fill out the info if you like, click save, and then it is ready to be indexed again. Final note that I wanna make here is this. So I've accessed a lot of websites. I've seen a lot of websites. What ends up happening is this whole like not link section becomes a hot mess. There's three or four home pages, four or five press pages. As you can see here, there's demo content, all of this. I highly recommend if you're about to launch a site or you're managing a site or, or you just wanna optimize your site, I highly recommend going through each and every page in your not link section and hiding stuff from Google that shouldn't be there, disabling old pages. Sometimes you create a new homepage and you publish it, but you don't hide the old one. So those types of things, those small things are really important and really valuable to make sure that Google is only indexing what should be indexed. 
From there, you go through, you could clean it up. You don't have to delete anything because you have unlimited pages, but you could clean it up. And if you want to be really fancy, you could even create a folder there and just put inactive pages, put them all in there so they don't clog up or take a lot of space. So it's really easy to see what content is there that is important, valuable, that's top of top of mind, and everything else can be hidden. And if you need to access it later, you can. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, I have some resources for you that I bet will be helpful. Check out the link down below where you could access more resources that are free for you, for your website, for your online presence, for your design, all of that. Check out the link below. With that, if you got value from this video, let me know by hitting that like button. When you hit the like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also tells me that you got value from this video. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll make sure you get updated every single week. We publish a new video every single Friday. So when you hit that subscribe button, you will be notified. And with that, have a great day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.